Hello everyone, welcome back to another video from the beautiful city of Shenzhen. Today I am in a wonderful park here in Futian district, it's called Xiangmi Park. Today I want to make a different kind of video. In a couple days it will be my Chai anniversary. Yes, I've been here already for eight years. I came here for the first time in 2015. I feel so grateful and so happy when I share my story with other people. Let them know how much I love this country, because I do, I truly do. And before somebody start making those kind of comments like who's paying you to make those videos? You're getting paid to talk all these things you're saying about China. I'm not getting paid for this. Well, basically, this is my job because I make uh, videos. I post videos on YouTube and different platforms. You know how to start with YouTube. Anyway, nobody has to pay me for this precisely to show you the reason why I make these kind of videos. And I always talk and say what I say about China. I decided to make a list of the eight reasons why I still live in China after eight years. And I will keep choosing this country to live and spend the rest of my life if I can. <laughs> Opportunity. China is a huge country that is going through a wonderful, amazing transformation. And I've shown you all this process throughout my videos. Everywhere I go, there's so many things changing. There's so much opportunity. There's so much innovation everywhere you go. I believe China is one of the most innovating countries I've ever been to. Actually, you can notice that everywhere you go, every city has something to offer. I really get impressed because I have a lot of Chinese friends and for them, it's not so hard to find a job. A lot of people come to the big cities like Shenzhen looking for a job, looking for a better quality of life, which is something they can find here. A lot of companies that offer uh, good jobs, good salaries. Also, all around the world, people come to China looking for opportunity, including myself. Originally, I came here working for a hotel as a guest relation manager. Then slowly, I started transitioning to video creation and I found that opportunity here. Well, I don't think if I would be in another place in the world, I will have that chance that I had here in China. So just like I did many people, I have a lot of friends who have uh, good jobs here, good lifestyle. They have found all these uh, different opportunities in a country like China. Another of the reasons I love China so much, and this is one of the most important ones, I think for a person coming from Latin America, like me, it's make a huge difference in daily life. And I'm talking about safety. China is the safest country in the planet, I would say. No matter where you go, no matter what time, you feel safe. You don't feel afraid like you're gonna get robbed, somebody's gonna steal your belongings. China is changing. China is not the same country as 10, 20, 30 years ago. And that's something people around the world should understand. Women are safe, kids are safe. That is something that you appreciate a lot. I love going outside at night with my kid and not being afraid. I love going partying with my friends and not being afraid. I love being anywhere and feel safe, protect. True, there are cameras everywhere here in China and I don't really know why people consider that an issue. I believe that is a huge strength of the Chinese system. You have cameras everywhere, so you're protected. I mean, if you're not making any crime, if you're not a thief, why should you care about it? Like, this is for your own benefit. You are protected. You have cameras everywhere. You have systems that control everything for your own benefit, for your own safety. If you drop something like a phone in a taxi and you don't have the number, you have cameras to track that. And actually, there's a real case of one of my friends. He left uh, his backpack in a car and didn't have the car number or the contact of this taxi. But because of the camera system all around the area where he get out the car, it was able for him and the local police station to track that car and he got his backpack back. So you know what I'm saying, right? It's for your own benefit. All this security and safety system that China has implemented, I believe is magnificent. I think it's one of the best in the world and the result is you live in a very, very safe country. And the other reason for me is people. When you move to another country, you want to feel welcome. You want to have a connection with local people. And since the very beginning, that's how I felt when I moved to China. 
And up to now, I still have that connection. I believe people in China are very friendly in their own way. How to put this? When you come to China as a visitor for a few days, you perhaps won't have the chance to actually get immersed in the culture and get in touch with the people in a deep way. When you live here several years, you learn to know the people, learn to know the, the culture, the, the way they are. I believe I'm already in a point where I totally understand local Chinese people. And that's why I guess it's not so hard for me to make friends here in China. You need to spend here a long period of time to understand them well. And actually, when I first came here and I found some differences because, of course, we're coming from different cultures. Uh, we have different backgrounds. We have different personalities. And uh, when I have, when I found these kind of differences with some of my friends or my coworkers, usually the answer that I got was like, you don't understand China. And uh, now I do understand what they meant by that. So that's true. It's hard for us to understand in just a few days the way they are. So spending time and living in a country like China gives you the chance to appreciate the way they are, their culture, their personalities. I, I am there already and people uh, is one of the reasons why I keep choosing China, why I, I like China so much. We are different, definitely. But after you understand the reasons why people do this or that, the, the background of their culture, it's easier to socialize, it's easier to make friends here. And I am so happy that I am in a country like China where people are extremely friendly and they're so open to other cultures. Uh, they're very curious, they want to know, they always have questions, they always want to be your friend. That is, that is really amazing. I love when I go anywhere, like in an airport, in a subway station, in the street, a shopping mall, and somebody approaches you and they just want to maybe just practice their English, but they're being friendly and that's something good, that's something really positive, that you have the chance to make friends just because, no special reasons, no any hidden reason behind, just because of the fact they just want to be your friend. And that's something that happens here in China everywhere, big and small cities, you can make friends if you're a visitor. Now, the next reason for me is convenience. I live in a very, very beautiful city, Shenzhen, and this is one of the biggest and most important cities in China. Of course, it's super modern. Everywhere you go, you have beautiful spaces like these, parks, that skyline behind me, a lot of uh, like shopping malls, public spaces for people to go around and enjoy, amazing subway systems. You have an incredible and extensive high-speed railway network that can take you virtually anywhere in the country. So it's absolutely convenient to be here. I drive to go to work, I drive to pick up my kid, and I sometimes decide just not to, because you have so many options. You can just grab a taxi, you can just take a subway, you can just walk there, you can ride a bike. So you have plenty of options to move all around the city with the most absolute convenience. And this is something that is basically everywhere. It's not just because Shenzhen is a brand new young city. It's simply because that is the system and that is the way uh, here in China. Authorities and government, they do care for people and they design, they invest in uh, people's well-being. You can notice that in daily life. When you go, when you commute into work, when you grab a taxi or just take a bike on the street and then just ride a few minutes and you're already there and you have the roads for your bike to ride safely and you have the spaces to park your bike or the parking lots for your car or it's easy and convenient just to call a taxi or it's easy and convenient to reach a subway station just meter away from where you are that is convenience traveling is another of the reasons why china is an amazing place to live i love traveling since i was a little kid and up to now, I still love doing that. China is an incredible country to travel. During these pandemic times, those three years of restrictions we had, uh, even though there were big restrictions to go out of China, traveling within China was pretty easy. So I had the chance to discover so many beautiful places I didn't know China had. Any imaginable place on earth, China has it. Traveling here is absolutely convenient. You have a lot of options, but also, 
traveling to other countries. China has a privileged location. I've had the chance to go many countries, Japan, Malaysia, Indonesia, India, Spain, Belgium, France, Italy, Switzerland, Denmark, Netherlands, Brazil, Argentina. I've been to America, I've been to Mexico, Russia. The list is very long and all these countries I've visited while I was living here in China. You have amazing traveling infrastructure, incredible airports, you have wonderful modern train stations that can take you anywhere in China. So when we're talking about traveling, China is definitely an excellent place to live. Modernity is another of the words that comes to my mind when I talk about China. It's, as I say, a very convenient and modern place. Chinese cities are evolving, are changing, are growing, and places like the one I'm right now, Shenzhen, is an example of that. So China has gone through a very big transformation already, but this is just, I would say, the tip of the iceberg. I think there's still a long way to go and I'm so thrilled and excited to be here in this time of history to kind of witness what is going on in China and I try to capture through my videos what I'm telling you right now I've been to so many cities big and small uh, small towns regions far away from where I live and I've seen everywhere uh, deep change this evolution this change that China is going through is very positive and is bringing a lot of uh, prosperity and quality of life to the people who live here. I've witnessed that with my own eyes. I've seen that. I've captured that on my videos. I wish I could have like, you know, like a camera that takes you with me 24 hours to see what I see because my feelings, my words are pretty genuine, are very sincere. And that's because I like what I see. I like to see these changes. I like see a smile on people's faces. I like to see kids having fun. I like to see families going to a park and having spaces to enjoy. That's something you can see in China very easily, basically anywhere. Of course, with these evolutions and this modernity I'm talking about comes prosperity. That is the other reason why I think China is an awesome place to live. Of course, people who live here feel very happy. And uh, that is a common answer when you ask anybody. So this prosperity I'm talking about is like a result of several measures that the government is implementing to let people enjoy their resources. Consequences of a very well-designed economic plan with more investments, more measures that take care of people's well-being that will be translated into more and more benefits for regular people. Like I go to any place in this city and you find a, a very convenient subway system that can take me anywhere for just a small amount of money in a safe, convenient, comfortable way. You have air conditioning, you have Wi-Fi in the subway station, you have clean seats, you have toilets that are pristine in every subway station. That is something I call prosperity. The number eight reason, and it's also super important to me, is challenge. China, as I said, is not all wonderful and beautiful. You need to learn to understand and respect local culture, local people, local rules. But still, China is a challenging country, and that is something very positive, actually. I came here from a totally different culture. I didn't speak their language when I first came here. I didn't even like Chinese food. I didn't even try before too many too many dishes. But being here all these years have represented also a challenge. And I'm talking, yes, about the cultural differences, I'm talking about the language, I'm talking about the system that is also quite different. You need to learn how to adapt yourself and respect the rules here. You need to respect and understand how local people behave. And do not try to change it because that's, that's the way they are, it's, it's their country. And that is one of the biggest secrets. Open your mind and do not pretend you need to change 
people or system here. That is not going to happen. It's you who needs to change and adapt to local culture. And that's a secret and that's it. But still, as I said, I do enjoy that challenge of learning something new every day, of trying something new, of going to a different place uh, every time. Because as I say, China is so big that I don't think one life is enough to go to every single town in this place. If you want a challenge, if you want something different, and at the same time, something very positive, just come to China and try for a while to live in here. It's going to be wonderful. I can assure you that. This is the list of the things I love about China. There are still some things that I don't like or don't enjoy too much, right? That's so normal when you go to a different country, you still have some differences. And that is okay also to have things that you don't like or you don't enjoy. So for that, that will be for another video. If you want to hear the list of the eight things that I don't like or don't enjoy too much about China, let me know in the comments down below. Also, if you've been here, if you're curious about China, do let me know your questions in the comment section. I'll be happy to hear and read your comments. Do let me know what you think about this video, about the eight reasons that I just explained you. Do you agree? Do you have any questions? You don't agree? If you are those haters, I want to say, uh, yeah, you're getting paid for talking all these things in those videos. I do not care at all about that. I'm not a politician. I'm not involved with politics at all. I do not care about politics. I just simply show in a transparent way how I feel here in China and that is the purpose of this video. I really hope you have enjoyed this video and this brief explanation of these eight reasons that I talked to you about and again let me know what you think about China. If you're willing to come here, if you have any questions do let me know in the comments down below and with that I will see you in the next one. Bye bye! Folks, I'm going to be wandering around nice and beautiful places here in China and documenting about it. I will also be Instagramming my day to day and my trips in this awesome country. Feel free to follow me and leave your comments and impressions over there about life in China. I will leave the link to my account in the description down below. Remember to like the video, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button so you don't miss any of my follow up stories about what's going on in this part of the world. If you think there might be someone else interested in these kind of videos, please consider sharing. My name is Rafael, thanks for watching and stay safe until next time.